Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna be doing my first cook on my brand new Old Country Gen 2 smoker. So for this first cook, I'm gonna just be cooking some chicken. Every smoker grill that I always get, especially a smoker, I make sure that the first cook that I always do is chicken. Why? Because that's gonna let me know how good I did with the cook. Fire management, am I burning too smoky, stuff like that. Chicken really adheres to smoke. So that's the reason why I use chicken as my first cook. So to keep this cook simple, I just got some chicken quarters and I'm gonna be using Cosmos Q Dirty Bird. I prefer Dirty Bird hot, but I got kids I gotta feed and you know, they don't like the hot stuff like daddy does. But I'm very familiar with the flavor of this rub. I use it a lot. So the only difference, I'm not gonna be adding any sauces. It's just gonna be this rub and whatever smoke we get out of that smoker. Now I'm just running straight hickory. So let's season up some chicken and we'll see how our smoking goes. One of our chicken quarters here. Now I'm gonna start off by seasoning the back of this. I'm not gonna add no binder to this, there's no need. Nice and wet and tacky from all the juices from that bag already. Get them a nice liberal seasoning. One thing I like to do, pull back the skin so that exposes the leg meat and the thigh meat at the same time. So from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and give a nice coating of the seasoning, not too heavy, because we are going to be seasoning the skin. Now pull back the skin, cover it up because you want it to wrap over your chicken thigh and now we're gonna season the skin part. Let's get a good liberal coating. You wanna make sure that the skin of the chicken looks like your rub. And just pat it in. And that's all we gotta do. So I'm gonna season the rest of these and we'll see you out in the smoker. All right, so I have my cold bed already established on the smoker. If you watched the previous video of the fire management, it'll kind of give you an idea of how I run this thing. Right now I'm about 250. Uh, I got my cold beds, they're all broken down and everything. As soon as this temperature gets to about 225, I'll add another split. But right now is a good time for us to put our chicken on. Now this smoker's not all that big. Yes, there's a lot of offset smokers that got a lot of space and yeah those are cool but this right here fits my my backyard so i only got six pieces of chicken i'm gonna put these little pieces over here on the back end put the bigger pieces over here on the front end you could cook about to about right here on the smoker then you also have the second rack i haven't really tested the second rack to see what i can cook on there if anything if i'm cooking a lot of chicken i'll probably just throw it up on top but i only got six pieces today there we go. All right, so our chicken's on. We're at about 250 degrees right now. And then, like I said, once my temperatures come down to about 225, I'm gonna throw in another split, but we're gonna be a consistent, about 275 degrees. That's the temperature that I'm looking to stay consistent with. Uh, you can do this on any smoker, any grill, uh, 275. And we're looking about anywhere between hour 15 to an hour 30 minutes, at least until 165 degrees. That's the safe internal temperature to cook chicken. Now for those picky people, you can take it up to 175. I'm just checking temperatures, that's all. Still needs more time, it's still a little gushy. About 130-ish right there. This one's in the middle. This one probably gets a little bit more heat. Looking closer to the 140-ish end, still in the 130s. So what I'm gonna do is since this has been in the front part, I'm gonna rotate these. This one actually looks pretty good. It's got some nice color. This is a lot smaller. So I'm gonna bring this one towards the middle. Bring this one. Actually, we should probably put this one back this way. It seems like how this one, probably put that one in the middle here. And put this one here. So it seems like a little colder spot is back that way. Right here in the middle, it's looking like it's doing okay. So, still needs a little bit more time. I'm gonna close it up, let it do its thing. Do, 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 ice cream guy. I need some ice cream. No, we gotta check on our chicken. All right. Looking good. 
It's not burnt. All right, so let's check some temperatures. Okay, this one's still behind. This one's about 140. I'm gonna just go ahead and check these underneath the skin. This one's getting there. This one's about 160. This one's a little behind. I actually need to add some wood. These up here are about 160. Let's try these back here. Probably about there. So I'm gonna rotate these again. And again, we're cooking by temperature. We're not cooking by color or anything like that. Probably need about another 15 minutes. I, I try to at least get to 165 degrees. Skin's looking really good. We got a little, we got a lot of fat in there, so it's keeping things, you know, moist under there. Uh, it's looking real crispy. Right here, it needs a little bit more time, but uh, that's what the temp on this one is. Skin's nice and snappy. We're about 15 degrees away. Now, I'm gonna take these to 165 degrees, preferably 175 for all those picky people. But uh, we're gonna let it keep doing its thing. I'm adding another piece of wood, finish this off. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this one here. Above 165. Obviously, these are done. All right, let's go ahead and let this cool down and get into the taste test. So after about almost two hours, I want to say it's kind of low and slow because those thermometers are a little off. So, cheers, y'all. Let's see how we did. Fully cooked. It's tender. Look at that. Let me taste the skin. Did really well. Did really, really well. I mean, look at these juices. Really juicy chicken. Really delicious. Actually, I don't remember the, the dirty bird having so much heat. Got a nice little kick to it. Uh, fantastic chicken. If you're looking into that smoker, it does really good. So what do I think about my first cook? It's really easy to use. I, I can tell you that. As you can see, the cook went on. I had a very small coal bed and only putting on one split of wood. And that was pushing me to about 275-ish to 300 degrees. Just depending on how dense that, that piece of wood was, was just taking me to that certain temperature. Now, every now and then, I had to probably put two because you know my coal bed was kind of getting a little low. But I'll be definitely experimenting more with this smoker. It's a really, really good smoker if you're really looking into it. Uh, I got this one at thebarbecuehq.com. I'm not promoting anybody. I paid this out of my, you know, my own cash, and my wife kind of looked at me with a funny little face on why I bought it. But that's just what we do, right? So, uh, yeah, definitely a really, really good smoker. I, I recommend it. Um, it's a really good starter smoker. It's a really good backyard smoker uh, compared to something I had before. It was really, really big. Every time I fired it up. We're putting a lot of wood in there. This thing, I really doubt it. I mean, I could really see this smoker, if you got a small cook and you just got some lump charcoal, throw that in there, throw a couple split, maybe a split or so of some fruit wood or some nut wood, just depending on what you're cooking. Uh, I think this would be a really, really great option for the backyard. Again, I'm not getting anything out of this. This is just my thoughts on my first cook. You know, I seen some really good things when I did the, the, the burn in and actually seasoned it. So uh, you'll definitely see more cooks on this thing. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. Now we can see future videos just like this. Now that's it, y'all. We gotta go eat. Now y'all be beautiful and God bless.